Last time we talked about AI, we looked at three different tools made specifically for Upwork. But today we're taking it back to basics and asking good old ChatGPT to write us a proposal for an Upwork job. So without further ado, let's go to my laptop and see how it all plays out. So our first step is going to be going to Upwork and finding a job to apply to. So bear with me while I find one. Let's see this one. I think I've applied to this one before. Okay, so this is a job for a UGC creator to create a video with an LED bathroom mirror, which I would love to have. So let's ask ChatGPT, let's open it up and let's see what it would submit as a proposal. All right, so I have a little template here so I'm going to paste it write a proposal for a freelance job as a UGC creator with the description let's paste it here and let's see what it comes up with I'm excited okay maybe proposal wasn't the right thing to say let's say something else do you also say please and thank you to AI let me know that in the comments but yeah it's starting similar dear client's name at least they ask you to put the client's name that's already better than most people i'm gonna need to fast forward the shit out of this i would have already written the proposal myself but i'm now curious it's like suspense 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 however you say it introduction i thought what you already said was the intro meanwhile i'm going to prep my camera for the next part of this video videoception i'm recording this video on my phone and trying to make my camera work let's just attach this you're getting a little behind the scenes at the same time if this ever makes it to the video oh hold on generate response can we try again or is this video going to be a total fail we'll see let's see what we got here dear client i am thrilled to submit my proposal for the ugc creator freelance job opportunity posted on upwork i am confident that my skills and experience align perfectly with your requirements for creating ugc style videos short videos and an unboxing program for your fashion and multifunction lead bathroom mirrors you can probably guess what i'm going to say it's a bit long the first sentence matters the most you want to start with something that catches their attention not something that's going to put them to sleep let's move on to the second paragraph with passion for content creation and a keen eye for visual storytelling i'm excited to help promote your innovative LED bathroom mirrors to your target audience through engaging and compelling video content. I understand the unique features of your mirrors, including adjustable colors and brightness, memory function, anti-fog capability, and shutterproof design, which contribute to an exceptional smart home experience for your customers. I would leave this out. You guys know by this point, if you've seen my Upwork proposal review series, that I hate long proposals with a passion. And and then we have, I invite you to review my portfolio, which showcases my previous work as a UGC creator through the following link or an attachment. I think an attachment is better than a link, but you can send your UGC link if it doesn't have any contact information. These examples will give you a sense of my style, creativity, Perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about this paragraph, so it's great. I'm excited about the opportunity to work with your team and exchange my services for your LED bathroom mirrors. I am confident that my dedication to delivering high quality content and my commitment to meeting deadlines will exceed your expectations. I would probably either delete this paragraph or shorten it. It's not bad, but it's also not adding value to it. Thank you for considering my proposal. I look forward to discussing the project in more detail and exploring how I can contribute to the success of your company. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have further questions or require additional information. If you want to thank them for reading your proposal, go ahead. I just find that weird for some reason. I don't know. Personal preference. I thinking I'll create a proposal with the parts that I liked. So let's do this. If we were to make minimal edits, this is what I would end up with. I have a passion for content creation and a keen eye for visual storytelling, and I'm excited to help promote your product through engaging and compelling video content. I invite you to review my portfolio, which showcases my previous work as a UGC creator through the following link. 
These examples will give you a sense of my style, creativity, and ability to effectively promote products through video content. I'm excited about the opportunity to work with your team and exchange my services for your LED bathroom mirrors. I'm confident that my dedication to delivering high quality content and my commitment to meeting deadlines will exceed your expectations. Thank you for considering my proposal. I look forward to discussing the project in more detail and exploring how I can contribute to the success of your company. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any further questions or require additional information. I would honestly send this over, but let's talk about the rules behind using ChatGPT in your proposals. Upwork's current stance of using AI for proposals is when you post content on Upwork per our terms of service, you agree that the content won't violate intellectual property rights or the terms of service of another platform. With that in mind, if you choose to use AI-assisted tools to create content for a proposal or complete a job, we recommend that you first confirm that the content is original and complies with the terms of service of the generating platform for utilization as an end state work product. So basically it should be fine, but it is to be used at your own risk. But that doesn't mean you need to give up on ChatGPT altogether. Here's a few ways to use it in your proposals without having it write the whole thing. What you could do is ask ChatGPT, for example, what you should include in a proposal. So let's say, hey there, what should I include in an upper cover letter for a UGC creator job? You should focus on highlighting your skills, experience, and passion for creating engaging content. I couldn't agree more. And I know it's writing a lot of stuff and we'll go through that. But the main thing you want to put in any cover letter is highlighting your skills, your passion, and your experience. And then it says, here are some key points to include in your cover letter. One, greeting and introduction. Start your cover letter with a polite greeting and introduce yourself. Mention your interest in the UGC creator job and state how you found the opportunity. I would skip this. I would greet them by their name, but I wouldn't introduce yourself because they already have your name. They already have some information about you. Number two, relevant experience. Highlight any previous experience you have in creating user-generated content. This could include content creation for social media platforms, blogs, websites, or any other relevant projects. If you have specific examples of successful UGC campaigns, share them to showcase your expertise. 100% wouldn't have said it better myself. Showing what you can do, not just saying what you can do, is key with freelancing. Number three, Skills and qualifications. List the skills and qualifications that make you a suitable candidate for the role. This may include your proficiency in using social media platforms, content creation tools, video editing software, or any other relevant skills. Emphasize your ability to create engaging and shareable content that resonates with the target audience. Be careful with this because a lot of people end up writing a huge ass list of their skills. For example, I would say I have over eight years of experience as a social media manager. I'm proficient with CapCut. I like to brainstorm ideas but I would keep it at that. Number four, passion and creativity. So express your passion for creating content and your enthusiasm for the specific industry or niche related to the job. Explain how your creative ideas can contribute to the growth and success of the client's UGC initiatives. Showcase your ability to think outside the box and generate innovative content ideas. 100% agree, and I would do this through video. You can just open up Loom and record a quick video. It's the best way to show your passion and your excitement because they can see it on your face and you can verbally share some just general ideas and it shows that you're creative and you can think on the spot. Next up, we have knowledge of the target audience. Demonstrate your understanding of the client's target audience and how you can tailor your content to meet their needs. Discuss your availability to research and analyze audience preference, trends, and interests to create compelling content that drives engagement and encourages user participation. This is something I maybe would reference in the video, but it's not something I would spend a lot of time on. Number six, we have collaboration and communication. Highlight your ability to work collaboratively and communicate effectively with clients, team members, or community members. 
discuss your experience in coordinating with others to gather user-generated content, manage feedback, and implement changes based on client requirements. This is important. It's important that the client knows that you deliver stuff on time, but at most, this should be one quick sentence. Number seven, we have availability and flexibility. This feels repetitive. It feels like number six all over again with a bit more focus on time instead of deliverables. And then call to action. Totally agree. Conclude your cover letter by expressing your interest in discussing the project further or scheduling an interview. Provide your contact information. Don't provide contact information on Upwork. Just say, let me know what times you're available and encourage the client to reach out to you. Remember to keep your cover letter concise, focused, and tailored to the specific job requirements. I couldn't agree more. It needs to be concise. It needs to be quick and to the point. You don't need to put any fluff to make it longer and tailor it to the job. That's another thing a lot of people skip. So this one gets a 9 out of 10. The previous one, probably 5, 6, if I'm being nice. But yeah, it's a good way to use ChatGPT. Another way we can do it is simplify a proposal before we send it. So for this, I'm actually going to steal one of your proposals from the proposal review series. Again, link right here or right here. I don't know my left from my right. Audrey, hope you don't mind if you're watching this. Let's copy and paste this. Let's say, can you simplify and shorten this cover letter for an work job? Let's see what it says. It's long as fuck. Can you make it shorter? It's better. Let's see. Dear client, I'm interested in a lead generation virtual assistant position you posted. With over three years of experience as a virtual assistant, I possess strong skills in data entry, web research, and lead generation. I excel in gathering accurate contact information from search engines, directories, and social media platform. My proficiency in Microsoft Excel and CRM systems ensures organized and accurately data. As a self-motivated and responsible individual with a keen eye for detail, I am confident in meeting and exceeding your expectations. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to working with you and generating high quality leads for your business. I like this. Apart from that first sentence, I like this. One thing I would do is I would move this sentence to the place of that one. But I think this is, again, Probably eight, nine out of 10. It's really good. Just goes to show that with some good prompts, ChatGPT can spew out some good things. I don't want to be one of those people who thinks AI is out to get us and we're going to lose our jobs to AI because I don't think it's that serious. I don't think AI is at that point yet. Probably one day. But also, it's not something we need to use for everything. I feel like there's this huge rush into using AI to optimize every single thing, which is great. But again, it doesn't need to do everything for you, does it? Honestly, there's still a big value in putting your own little touch in things, especially when it comes to freelancing, because the client wants to know you. They want to work with you, not with a robot. And that first impression that you get in a proposal should tell the client that an actual person wrote it, not just a robot. It's hard enough to connect with clients over text because they're not seeing you. But imagine taking away that person. Having a machine apply to jobs, it just seems unethical to me. But feel free to leave your opinion down in the comments. I would love to hear it. I think AI can be super useful to automate some of the boring tasks in your freelance business, like I showed in this video right here. Go watch it. Which was a piano?